Hello, everyone. Ah, I'm sure you are all very excited because you get, you got last week the picture password for code.org. So this means that we are going to start working on our code. And many of you love it. But today we are going just to practice how to open it. And we are going to go through lesson one and lesson two on our new course, course B. Yeah, but we are basically going to practice on how we can go from the, the website on code back to the meeting and from the meeting back to the code. So that you can, if you have a question and you want to go back to the meeting and ask Ms. Ada, even though you don't have to go back to the meeting, you can just say, just speak, and uh, Ms. Ada will be able to hear you. But if all the microphones are on, it might be too noisy. So if we have the microphones off, it's better for you to come back to the meeting, turn your microphone on, and ask Ms. Ada about your question, and then I can help you, and then you go back to your code. So we are learn you are going to learn today how to do this, how to go from code to the meeting, from the meeting to code, etc. Okay? So let's start. Um, you suppose you are here in the calendar to join the meeting. Oh, you already joined the meeting, you are here. Oh, Ms. Ada is not didn't join. So I'm going to click on a meeting here with year two. Yes, I'm going to join. This is a, just an example, okay? Because uh, when I'm recording this, there's no meeting. I'm just making an example. And then I'm going to join now. Yes. Well, to, how do I go to code? You are in the meeting with Ms. Ada. How do I go to code? Ms. Ada is going to put the link here. Can you see this uh, speech bubble next to the hand that you use to raise your hand. So we are going to click on the speech bubble and Miss Ada is going to put the link here for you, right? So the link is going to be there. You just need to click on the link and there you go to your code.org lesson. Remember, you need to find your name, blah, blah, blah. We are going to see this later. But today, what do we need to practice? Oh, Ms. Ada, I want to go back to the, to, to the meeting on Teams. I want to, to ask you a question. I'm stuck here. I don't know what to do. Well, no need to panic. Remember our minimize button. I mean, sign here, the little icon, the minus for minimize. See, we have the X. If you click on the X, you close, and then you need to again click on the link to open uh, your uh, your code.org. But here, it makes it uh, like if it's minimized, it comes up again. And this one is minimized. So when I click on this, voila, I'm back in the meetings. Now, this is going to vary from, from the device you have, this part to go back to the code. This is going to vary. Uh, if you are on a laptop or on a desktop, you probably have a toolbar like this. And the Teams meeting, can you see the little T here in blue? I mean, the, the T is in white, but the... You have like a, an icon that is in blue. You can click on this and then we'll be back. Well, we are in the meeting. Now, if I want to go back to code, again, I minimize. And, oops, oops, oops. I didn't go. Oh, because I am uh, saving. Um, but... We, if it was you, I, I'm sure it would come back. But if it doesn't, oops, 
if if it doesn't uh, come back, you can always look for this and remember which browser your code is, and then you go back to that one. Some computers, the toolbars are not going to be down here. Some will have them on the top, some will have them to the right, others will have to the left. And if you are on a tablet, okay, let me go back to the meeting here. Oh, no, I don't want, I want to go back here to my recording. Yes. So, and if you are on a tablet, Miss Ada doesn't know exactly how you have to do. I think you just have to swipe your screen to go, like when you click on the link to code, it will open automatically. It should open automatically. Then, you can, if you minimize, you should be back to your meeting. If there is no minimize button, maybe you just need to swipe and find the meeting. Okay, so let's practice now. Let's see if you can do it, if you can open the meeting, and if you can minimize and come back to the meeting. So this is going to be what you're going to do, and then... We will do lesson one and lesson two together, okay? Because this year we will try to do it together. And um, if you are not uh, in, the, in the meeting today, you could not attend the meeting. It is recorded and you can also find it on the chat. Remember I told you about the chat box in... Uh, in the meeting. So Ms. Ad is going to go back to the meeting here, down here. It's in my toolbar down here. I'm going to go back to the meeting. And remember here the conversation. The, for example, the meeting we had last Sunday, I had last Sunday with Two Green, he saved here, right? So Two Green can come here. But Two Blue will find it, Two Red will also find it. So all the meetings are recorded and you can watch again if you are in trouble. Now, can you tell me how I got go back to the meeting? Can you? Let me see. Oh, I have to minimize. Good. I mean, oh, not back to the meeting, back to code. Yeah. All right. So let's practice this. Let's, let's do it. Okay, dokie. And let me go back here. Oops. And I lost the button here to, to delete the meeting, to close the meeting. Yeah. 